New at 6 o'clock, we are hearing from friends of the man police say was killed in a hit and run crash on I 94 as police continue to try and track down the driver. News 8's David Horak live in our Kalamazoo studio with this story. David. Well, Brian and Sue, 71 year old William Pence in a Battle Creek was loved by so many, including two women who were longtime friends of his. They tell us he was really a good person who selflessly helped so many others. It wasn't nothing you can ask them to do for you, and he would do it. For nine years, Virginia Baker dated William Pinson, who she thought the world of. And even after the relationship ended, she says their friendship certainly did not, given the kindness and honesty he had for everyone. He was real. If he tell you something, he meant it. You know, um, like I said, if you needed help with anything, you know, he would help you. He would have hit you somewhere. To where you would have you would have been you would have been connected to him from then on. What That's the kind of guy he was. So did Rhonda Pouncey. She says the father of eight and grandfather to many more was on his way back home from Kalamazoo when police say he was hit and killed on I-94 last night. Since then, Pinson's loved ones keep wondering why. If they had stopped and stayed, maybe he would still be living. Maybe he would have survived this because he was strong enough to have survived. Yeah. I believe that. You are under a legal obligation um, to stop uh, and identify yourself and render aid uh, to, uh, you know, uh, an accident uh, victim, uh, you know, and to, you know, provide your information. And, and wait for the authorities to come and investigate. Michigan State Police Lieutenant Dwayne Robinson says investigators are still looking for the vehicle and driver responsible who will be facing criminal charges. We are actively looking for uh, this person and um, we are going to find you and you will be held accountable. Both women say that Pinson's family is on their way to say one last goodbye to him. Meanwhile, state police, as I said, are still searching for that driver and vehicle. Right now, they don't have a description, but they are asking the public, especially body shop owners, that the vehicle has damage with black paint transferred over either on the front or on the passenger side. And if you happen to see it, immediately call police. Live inside our Kalamazoo studio, David Horak, News 8.